Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here and I'm in beautiful Northern California today visiting my parents. And today for this video, I thought we could get our hands dirty since it's so beautiful outside. I'm going to teach you guys how to do basic stop motion animation using DSLR cameras. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be painting the Premier Gal logo with this purple paint with acrylic paint and these paint brushes. And I'm going to paint the logo on this white square. And I'm going to create this. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hang this up on a flat surface like this. Let's do it like that. So first we're going to start with the dark purple base. So I have this piece of wood as my palette here. Let's squirt some of that. Ooh, looking good. And so now we're going to record a time lapse while we do the photos of the stop motion animation. Let's get started. So now that we finished painting the Premier Gao logo, um, it's now time to take all the photos that we took during the process, import them into Premiere Pro so you can create that stop motion animation look. So again, you wanted to make sure that during the process you used a tripod and also that you weren't in the frame painting unless you wanted to get, achieve that look. So you want to make sure, um, secondly, that you jump out of the frame take the photo of the process after you do a stroke, take a photo, um, do another stroke of the painting, then take a photo and so on until the entire project is complete. So as you see here in my Premiere Pro project, I have imported all of the photos here, starting with the first shot that I took of the blank canvas. And then of course, going over time, you see it growing as, as I click on each photo here. Now I wanna create a, a stop motion animation like here over in my timeline, you can see how it develops over time into the final product. These photos move fairly quickly. If you go over here back in the browser where my photos are, you see that each photo when I imported it came as five seconds in duration. Now we don't want each photo to be five seconds because that's going to be you know, way too slow of an animation. I like to have it at about zero two hundredths of a second each photo because it makes it go a lot quicker. So what I have here is all the photos and now let me go ahead and control click on all of them after I select them all. And if I click on speed and duration, I can change the duration of each photo to just two hundredths of a second. And you'll see now each photo is no longer five seconds long, just zero two hundredths of a second, which is a lot better. Here's a treat for you, Spikey. Thanks for waiting. Okay, so now what you have to do is you can create a new sequence from the image by control click on the image and create a new sequence from the clip. So now you see that the image is over here, just the first one. Now we need to get the rest of them in here. So select 1533, the next image, all the way down to the last image by clicking shift and select, and then drag the rest of them just beyond that first clip. And now, if you hit play, voila, there it is, the stop motion animation. It's really, really basic thing to do. And so that's it. Um, just by taking photos with the DSLR, I was able to create a short stop motion animation to create this wonderful little handmade gal logo. And um, let me know if you guys have any questions about the process. Um, it's a lot of fun to do, so I encourage you to do this. It's a great way to help promote your brand in a more like handmade sort of way. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks again, bye.